Hello there, I'm Andrew and welcome to Vegan Witchcraft Journey. Uh, this is my channel where I do vegan -y witchcraft things, I guess. I wanted to start it because I'm at the very beginning of researching and looking into witchcraft. I know it's something that I'm going to love um, and that I really want to get into. So I decided that I would make a channel to show my journey throughout. Um, also, I've come across a lot of great YouTubers and uh, who've just been so helpful. Um, and they also really liked which subscription boxes. And I love getting things through the post. So I thought, hey, what better way to build up um, the things that I need in order to start doing spells and rituals and understand witchcraft more uh, than to get some subscription boxes. They've got some great ones here in the UK so I thought I'd go for it and I'd unbox them here for you guys and uh, review them, maybe compare them, see which ones I like, uh, which ones I want to keep going with and maybe change it up every now and again. Uh, you have to forgive me if I talk a bit weird today. Uh, so <laughs> I was having lunch early, I was working um, and I took my lunch break and I decided to have some crisps and uh, kettle chips do some uh, vegan crisps now. I think there's like cheese and onion, really nice. And um, I was a bit too eager, managed to cut my tongue open. Um, lovely blood blister, which I had to pop with a needle. Uh, not, the, <laughs> not the thing you probably expected to hear me saying in my first video, but there you go. So my tongue hurts when I talk, but I got uh, my first parcel today and I didn't really want to wait um, until my tongue had healed properly to open it. Um, so yeah, just eager to get on here and, and open it up for everybody, see what you think, see what's inside. I'm excited. I want to know what's in this thing. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoy this. Um, if I'm grating or annoying or anything like that, then obviously don't. Uh, but I thought there's not too many people unboxing UK boxes. Uh, I just want to see what kind of stuff that we get. And um, yeah, I guess first box. So this is from Freya's Cauldron. So I've got a few um, coming from places like the Culverstone Witch. Uh, I've got Witch Casket and I've got another one. I can't remember at the top of my head what it is now. But um, this is my very first one, came today. Uh, they shipped it on Friday, so it got here very quickly comes in the lovely plastic and uh <laughs> trying to figure out which side I should hold this um it comes in a very plain box which is fine just means you have no idea what's in it um and I've not opened well I opened the box just to check who it was from because I couldn't recall which one um but I've not actually looked at any of the content yet and I don't know what's in it um, I'm going to get used to looking at the camera at some point because I keep looking at myself on the screen. Um, <laughs> should probably stop doing that. Uh, I'm more used to doing um, podcasts. Um, and as you can see from my t-shirt, I'm uh, a Dreamcast fan and uh, just general video gaming fan. Let's get this open, I guess. Uh, okay. So here making sure it's an awful out. Here's the box and oh, packing penis falling up it already. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So I'm going to set it down and we're going to look through what comes in it together. So on the top, there are a, it's a bunch of, I keep trying to hold it. it smells great. Um, there's a bunch of paperwork here. We really need to stop looking at the screen. Um, the first is a bit of a note. So, I've got a note here from Freya. Basically, it's just about uh, becoming plastic free, which is a great thing. So I've seen in previous unboxings that other people have done for Freya's Cauldron, these two little plastic pots for the herbs and other things that they had, which was nice. It meant that, you know, somewhere to keep them, but of course, not, not fantastic, especially those kind of pots are not always recyclable. Um, you could reuse them, of course, which I, I'm, I'm sure I would have done if that's what they'd come with this time. Um, but they're trying not to do that anymore. And they're looking at uh, putting everything into paper bags, at least in the interim, um, kind of envelopes, which they've done this time around. So that's what we'll get for any herbs that they give us. Um, here we go. So this is Again, I'm very bad at holding things to camera. Hopefully you can see that well. 
that's what comes in it. Um, you can obviously read that if you want. I'm not reading it. I'm not seeing what's in it. I might have caught the first thing on the list, but you know. And um, the rest of this is just about the stuff that it comes with. So there's probably not, not a great thing to look at right now, but you know, it's uh, nicely done. Some nice diagrams. Um, and bearing in mind that I'm completely new to this, I'm sure this is all gonna be really helpful information for me to look through and read. It's difficult to know where to start sometimes um, with reading and looking into stuff. So I feel like the subscription boxes may help guide me a little bit and uh, give me certain things to look at. Um, now I'm not sure if it actually gives you a particular, because um, I know some of these boxes that you get will give you like uh, a reason for the box, um, as in, you know, like a, a, a theme. That's the word that I was looking for, Andrew. A uh, theme for the box. Um, but there isn't really one that I can see, not unless I start reading properly into that, which I'm not going to do right now. So let's uh, let's open, well, let's, let's kind of show you the box again. On the wrong side again. This side's the better side, <laughs> I think. So you can see already there is something in there poking out. So I'm going to take that first. I don't know how full this is. It's not heavy. It's not a heavy box. Just knocking things over there. Um, it's not a heavy box. Um, but the first thing that we have is, again, holding things to the wrong side, this. So just so you can see that. It says Fairies Mist. Difficult to read. I think it's, there you go, 12 incense cones. And it says, fill the air with a mystical sense of calm and let this fairy's mist guide you along the tranquil paths of Nirvana. Interesting. So I've never used incense cones. I've used incense sticks before. Need some scissors. Um, oh, but never, but never cones. So cones are new to me, but let's, uh, let's have a smell. Just trying to show, I'm trying to show you in there, but I should probably just kind of put some on my hand and that's, so here we go. So that's, that's what we're looking at. That's really nice. I think that's the nice smell that I could smell from the box. Almost Palmer Violet like, um, that's really nice. Yeah, Palmer Violet mixed with, you know, the, the shop that you get, you go know, into witchy shops. Um, in town there's one some in brighton and there's one down in brighton that i've been into a couple of times this is when i was at the very first looking into witchcraft stuff and i didn't really get anything at the time i just kind of looked in and i was quite overwhelmed with all the stuff that was there and uh, not knowing where to start and i was a bit too timid to ask anybody so i just kind of had a quick look around and then left um so i'm gonna put this down that's great it smells nice so what do we have next Uh, it is the first of the herbs. I think you can see that. So my light is quite bright on it. I'm trying to find the right angle for it. This side's always good. It's magical herb cleavers. Cleavers, okay. Kind of don't want to... I need to get some stuff to put this in. So I'm just going to have to reseal this. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm getting it everywhere. It's, um, it's on my desk, so... Undo it over the box, that would probably help. Mm. Just a very woody green smell. I have no idea what this is. So there's that. Um, I will look at the stuff afterwards. I'm gonna have to clean off my desk though and hoover it. Again, I need to stop looking. Okay, I'll put this to one side. <laughs> Um, we have oh, another, oh, we've got the Magical Herb Blend Elemental. Again, I'm learning from my lessons, I'm gonna open this over the box. Hmm. I'm not sure, it's just difficult to get the angle right, but there you go. So that's what's in there. Because I'm again, because I'm new, I'm, it's difficult to identify exactly what the smells are. But it smells nice. It smells nice. So that's our second herb. 
or a herb mix even. Oh, what do I take out now? Oh, okay. Oh. So in the little bag there, you can see it through it. This is a key ring. Nice little, oh, try not to. It's a wolf howling at the moon. It's wanting to swivel around, that's annoying. It's very nice. It's kind of a, I don't know, is that a stainless steel or a, it's not plated silver, that's definitely not that, so it might be stainless steel perhaps. We'll check, that's very nice. I like that. I don't really have keys as such. I mean, who does at the moment? Because we're not really going out of the house very much, so. Uh, in that goes back in its little little bag. Oh, what's next? What's next? Oh, is the stone or the crystal that you get in this particular box? So I will open this one for you. Also, just so you know, I'm doing this unboxing this way this time around. I'm hoping to set it up so I can kind of do it where you don't necessarily see my face, not because I want to hide my face away from everybody, but um, just because I just, um, it's okay. Can you see that? It's very nice. Kind of a crystal in its raw state. So there's the stuff on the top is kind of a bronzy, a bronzy color, and then it's kind of a white crystal underneath. Again, I have absolutely no idea about crystals, but it's very pretty. Shiny, shiny. Um, but to go back to what I was talking about, yeah, I'm gonna try doing it kind of from a top-down view so you can see everything on the table as I unbox. Um, and then we'll see which one works better and you guys can let me know in the comments which type of unboxing you prefer, and if you prefer it like this, me kind of holding things up to the camera and showing you, or if you prefer, um, yeah, if you prefer something different. Next up, we've got some elemental oil. So. Can see that there? Just about. Again, apologies for this. It is my first unboxing video. Let's give it a smell. Mm. I'm very bad at identifying smells, but it smells lovely. I want it reminds me of something like maybe a bit minty when I when I read sorry I'm tapping on the mic now when I read what this is I will probably know straight away I'll be like oh that's what it is there you go that's uh that's that very nice so elemental oil what's next there's a lot in this box I'm quite surprised oh yeah. this is nice get that any closer without the light shining on too much there we go oh this is getting i'm sorry uh so this is seed ball bee and butterfly friendly wildflowers uh wildflower seeds so just opening them for you so i should probably do that on camera shouldn't i um so there's like a little instruction but they are literally balls of seeds I don't know why I'm smelling the seeds, but um, so yeah, interesting. We actually planted wildflowers in the spring last year. Very nice they were too. So some more for the garden. That would be lovely. Let's see. Oh, so in all the other unboxing videos that I've seen, there's always been spell candles. This is no different. There are one, two, three, four, five spell candles. Nice little bag. And here they are. So we've got red, blue, yellow, white, and brown. And of course, these all correspond to different energies and different kinds of intention for your spells. Again, I'm <laughs> I'm not one of these um, YouTube channels that can tell you what the, all these are for at the moment because I'm so new into it. But we'll have a read through. We'll have a read through, and I'll stop looking at the screen. 
and I'll stop telling you I'm looking at the screen because you know I have to have like, some kind of counter as to how many times I refer to myself looking at the screen there we go so lovely spell candles what else have we got here uh, I think we've got maybe two three more things um first one is this which is let's hold it closer to the camera that might help it's just my my light isn't helping too much I should probably think about replacing that that's helpful isn't it um this is so it's bring luck into your life spell kit that's a bit better okay let's see what this is so what's cool about these is they basically contain everything you need so <clears throat> bring some luck into your life spell um so you need the new moon to do the spell but it requires a green candle elemental herb mix and elemental oil so we've got all of those things in fact in fact hang on we don't have the green candle because that is in here <laughs> there is the green candle um so it gives you the candle it gives you the spell itself which is very nice it's uh i won't show the whole thing but can i get the idea and then you use some of the other things that you got in your box in order to do the spell give this a go um okay this is charging elemental discs ritual again my light is terrible maybe it's just needing to hold it close to the camera but there you go you can see it i'm just trying to peel this nicely Ooh. sticking myself to it it's always good so okay so the first thing is this so it's a bunch of wooden discs which i believe have the symbols of the elements on them which would make sense so i'm gonna oh, show you them one by one if that's visible eh. <laughs> I need to get used to this so bad. There you go. So that's fire. Uh, we've got water. The way up. We've got uh, another fire. Possibly. Yeah, holding it close to the camera, Andrew. Come on. Basics. Um, uh, is that water again? I can't. Um, what have we got there? I don't know. And then we've got a. Maybe they're not all the same. Maybe maybe I'm just missing because they seem to be the same shape. Lovely. So we've got those, and they come with. When to the spell, a new moon or full moon, you'll need a red candle from your pack in a candle holder, an incense stick or cone, small bowl of salt, small glass of water, and the five discs in the bag. As you can see there. And it does actually come, it does tell you what these mean, so that's helpful. Should have really noticed that before. So there you go, we've got air, fire, earth, water, and spirit. Wonderful. Very good. So sorry about this. Bear with me because I am learning this on the job, as it were. Um, how to uh, how to unbox, and this is why I want to um, make lots of loud noise. Sorry, put things away before I speak to you. How rude of me. Um, <laughs> this is why I want to. Um, can't think of words um this is why i would like to try different methods of unboxing because perhaps another one will be a bit easier for me to do why am i so obsessed with putting this away i just am okay I'll pop that over there and i think i think this is the last thing oh nearly spilled all the packing peanuts out 
Okay, so usually you get kind of one large item. I've put in inverted commas because this one isn't particularly huge, but it comes in jiffy bag. And these are usually, so I've seen these before and they're usually like crafted items. So ones that I think it's, um, I believe it's Graham um, crafts. And here we go. That's lovely. Bit of a uh, thing stuck to it. Uh, have a look at that. So that is a candle holder, which is one of the things that we need for the ritual. And it is an element candle holder, a lovely they, pentacle in the center there. And it says around the edge, air my breath, fire my spirit, earth my body, water my blood. Very nice. Very nice. Quite happy with that. Pop a candle in it. Again, I need to I do need to do more research. Um but that is that is everything in the box. <laughs> I've got so little space on this desk. I'm just gonna put this down here. Um so yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh god, I've got herbs everywhere. Um let's have a look and just read through what was in this. So they've popped in this, uh, they've said, hello and welcome to our February Spellkeeper's Chest. Uh, we have a box full of goodies for you again this month. This time we work with the elements and elementals. See if I'd have read, I'd have known that was the theme. There we go. A fascinating subject and one we can only really dabble on with on the surface of. So if it sparks your interest, then do look more deeply into the subject. It's re It really is truly magical. Um, and this is one of the reasons that I wanted to do this because I've got all these things to do with elements now and I can kind of do some more research into it. But it gives me a starting point, um, which is great. So let's just have a look. So we've got the elemental dressing oil, uh, which is to dress candles, um, which is good because we've got all those spell candles. We've also got spell candles um, and here they, he, they kind of go down what they mean. So the yellow candle is for communication, learning, productivity, creativity, blessings, and solar magic. Red is for passion, love, strength, courage, enthusiasm, willpower, lust, and beauty. Uh, white is goddess, peace, protection, sincerity, truth, purification, happiness, moon magic, spirituality, strength, and cleansing. The brown candle, which is an unusual one, I've not seen that yet, and that is for grounding, earth magic, healing, animal magic, animal spirit guides, building foundations, friendship, and the home. It's a good one good one to have and then the blue candle is peace harmony truthfulness sleep dream work wisdom and tranquility Lovely. so the herb we've got is cleavers or clivers it says here clivers um a very useful herb to have in your collection and is useful uh, and is and an and as usual an info sheet is included with your box paperwork so we can learn a bit more about the particular herb. Uh, the herb blend is a hand blended collection of herbs chosen for their association with the elements, the elementals and the intents of our, our spells in this month's box. Lovely. We also got a Sertrine Druze chunk. Okay, that's what it is. A lovely piece of crystal and perfect to go with our theme this month. We have, as always, included a sheet of info. Yeah, lovely. Fantastic. The Wolf and Moon Pewter Keyrings. It's pewter. There we go. Uh, this is a wonderful piece which we have chosen to work with the intents in the box and a perfect item to use as an amulet on your altar. So I'm looking for new things for my altar. That seems very good. So I'm happy with that. Um, spell kits. This month we have two very fitting kits for you. The first is a spell for bringing luck into your life and also one for charging your elements disc. Uh, this will make sense when you open the purple envelope, which does to us now. Then we've got the wooden elemental charging plate and pentagram candle holder. Another of Graham's stunning creations. Yes, Graham. Thank you very much. And thank you, Freya, as well. Um, a elemental charging plate with elemental symbols used to charge your crystals using the elements the candle holder adds to the energy use a candle color to match your intent lovely and of course the other two items we've got with the wildflower seed balls there's six of them um so everyone can connect with the element with the elementals by looking after nature and spreading wildflowers for the bees um can be just one one way of doing that which is 
very true, very good. And the last one was the fairy, Fairy's Mist Incense Cones, another item which fits perfectly with our intent of this month's box and can also be used in the spells if you wish. And of course, they smell rather lush too. And they do, they smell very nice. Uh, I'll need to look into the, what the smell is. Um, where is it? I don't know if it actually says the Fairy's Mist. I don't know if it actually says it on here. Not that I can see, but it smells nice. So if you know what the smell is, let me know. Um, there we go. That is that is my first unboxing and possibly a long one. Um, so sorry about that. I'll try and cut it down in future, but I'm very new to this. I'm very happy with it all. It's very nice. There's a lot in there for the money you spend. So Freya's Cauldron is £25 a month, uh, free shipping to the UK. I think they ship elsewhere, but I'm not sure. But if you're in the UK, 25 quid. And, you know, it's a spell, um, how do they how do they say it? It's the um, Spellkeeper's Chest that they call this, Phrase Cauldron. And it is all about spell work. So they give you things that are useful for that. And some of the items I've seen them give in previous months, I really wish I'd been subscribed then. Like there was an Imbolc um, offering bowl and there was one for Yule as well, which is lovely, like really nicely made. And I think you can buy those from their website still. So um, I believe they're about £10 each. I'm assuming that they're going to make more for the upcoming um, Sabbath. So I might go back and buy the two that I missed because um, they are lovely. Uh, have a look on Freya's Cauldron. I'll put the link uh, down there so you can go and check them out. And I'll probably put the links to those offering bowls as well. But that's that. Um, as my first one, let me know what you think. My first video, uh, if there's anything you think I could be doing better or anything different, just comment. Um, always up for constructive criticism. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would like to uh, speak to people more, learn more, of course, about witchcraft as I go. And uh, I'll be looking at all the stuff in this kit and uh, yeah, trying to use it and uh, and learn more all about it. So fantastic. Looking forward to the upcoming ones. And when I've got all four that I'm getting this month, I'll do a bit of a comparison as well uh, and kind of maybe decide which one of them was the best this month. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care. Bye.